Hi, I'm Tony, and in this video, we're going through Sports Bike Shop's top five flip over helmets. Okay, so what's a flip over helmet? It's a made up name for a helmet where the chin bar can be flipped all the way to the back of the shell. Where a flip up helmet leaves the chin bar at the top of the lid in the wind flow and possibly making the helmet feel top heavy, this chin bar sits at the back out of the wind and it gives better weight balance as well. And when you open a regular flip, the main visor is stuck behind the chin bar. But on these, the chin bar slides over the visor. So that's back in play when the chin bar's back and you've got an open face helmet. If you only want to open a helmet when you're stopped or if you're riding through villages, then I'd still stick with the regular flip personally. They're usually lighter and simpler and they also tend to be quieter. But for longer spells of riding with the helmet open, flip overs like this are a good bet. Now, something I need to point out here, this isn't a top five in the traditional sense. There aren't very many flip over models in the 2024 ranges. So this is a run through of most options that are available this year. Where we have a full review of any helmets as we go through this, you'll find links to those in the description below, where you'll also find links to the product listings for the helmets themselves. And all five of these lids are dual homologated, so they all pass the latest ECE 2206 safety tests for both open face and full face helmets. Right, let's crack into it. The Scorpion Exotech Evo fares well with sports bike shop customers, with many saying they're surprised by the quality. Customer feedback gives an average rating of 4.6 from the first 18 reviews, with noise the main concern of those customers. Fit and sizing also comes up as an issue. Now, all flip over helmets get tighter when you close the chin bar, but the Scorpion does seem to tighten up more than most helmets. Overall though, that customer feedback is very positive. The quality stands up well against others of a similar price and riders say they're happy with the value for money from the Exotech Evo. At 1,820 grams on our scales, this size medium is still relatively heavy, but it's in the same kind of area as most other plastic shell flip overs. If weight is an issue for you and you don't mind spending a bit more there's now an Exotech Evo Pro. The main shell for that one is made from composite fiber, so it's about 180 grams less at 1,642 grams. And if that's still not light enough, there's an Exotech Carbon Evo with a carbon fiber main shell, and that weighs 1,579 grams for a medium. The regular Exotech Evo is 250 in plain colors, or it's 300 if you want graphics. The lighter Pro model costs £340, and if you want the carbon model, it's £380. All three models come in sizes from extra small to double extra large. LS2 have plenty of experience with flip over helmets, and this Advant is their entry level option with a list price that starts at £250. This one has a plastic shell, it's got vents at the chin and on top, there's a single button chin bar lift, a side operated sun visor and the main visor comes with a top grade Pinlock 120 anti-mist insert. This size medium comes in on our scales at 1,802 grams, which is respectable for a plastic shelled flip over, and the lining for this one does feel very comfortable. Customers score their advance very well, giving an average review rating of 4.7 from the first nine reviews. The pull tab on the strap, which makes the closure buckle easier to open, gets a lot of praise, and I think that's deserved as that does work well. Any lost stars are down to noise. There it is again. And also there's a sizing issue for one owner within those reviews. The LS2 Advant comes in sizes from extra small to 3XL and the 250 pound price covers plain colors, while graphics like this are listed at 270 pounds as we record this. LS2's second helmet in this list comes in two versions, the straight Advant X, and also the Advant X Carbon. The Advant X's main shell is made from composite fiber with the chin bar portion of the helmet still made from plastic like most flip over helmets are. It weighs in on our scales at 1675 grams, which is a decent saving over the weight of the all plastic Advant. If you go for the Advant X Carbon, then the whole shell is made from carbon fiber, including the chin bar. And that brings the weight down to 1591 grams on our scales. Features are similar to the basic Advant and they're similar on both helmets, but I think the fit on this helmet is more snug and the comfort lining on the Carbon is also higher quality than on the Advant X. Customer feedback for both helmets is strong. The X averages 4.7 from the first seven ratings and it's 4.8 from the first nine ratings for the X Carbon. Only the common complaints, noise and fit come up as particular criticisms of these helmets. Both models come in sizes from extra small to 3XL. The Advant X is £299.99 in planes and £329.99 in graphics. And the Advant X Carbon is £379.99 in plain colors and £399.99 in graphics. 
Nolan's N121 is their first ever flip over helmet and it's got most of the innovations that make Nolan's helmet stand out from the crowd. It takes two buttons on this one pinched together to release the chin bar and the strap buckle also has a two stage release as well. The sun visor's got a press button auto retract and an adjuster in the comfort liner lets you alter the angle at which the helmet sits on your head. If all of this sounds a bit overcomplicated, it doesn't take too long to adapt to those features, I promise. The N121 has an all plastic shell, but at 1722 grams for this size medium, it's the lightest all plastic flip over here. We've only had five customer reviews so far, but four of those riders have given five stars and feedback is mostly positive. Noise does come up again, and Nolan fit can be quirky, but that means it might just be the perfect shape for your head. The N121 comes in more sizes than most helmets. The 2XS to 3XL range covers 51 centimeters up to 66 centimeters. List price is 300 pounds for plain colors and 350 pounds for graphics. Now, I'd say the first four helmets we've covered are touring lids, but I feel this Roof Boxer 2 Carbon is more of an urban helmet. It's the sequel to the Boxer Carbon, which had an average rating of 4.8 from the first 29 customer reviews. This sequel is virtually identical, but with an ECE 2206 safety rating. Owners especially love the Boxer's quality of finish, the accuracy of the sizing, and also the way the chin bar automatically locks into place when it's lowered. Some mention noise from this helmet. There we go again. And I agree with those who say that opening this top vent can generate an unusually loud sound. The standard visor with this helmet is lightly tinted, so buying an additional clear one will help people who ride at night. One of those is 63 pounds, and the twin button release for the chin bar makes it tricky, but not impossible, to lift the chin bar while you're riding. A big appeal of the stripped back design for this helmet is a reduction in weight. At 1,468 grams, this Boxer 2 Carbon is the lightest helmet in this video. The Boxer 2 Carbon starts at 439 pounds, but there's also a straight Boxer 2 with a fiberglass shell, which is 359 pounds. It is heavier though, it weighs 1,643 grams. Both the Boxer 2 and Boxer 2 Carbon come in sizes from extra small up to double extra large. Okay, so if we've learned anything from this, it's that flip over helmets do come at a price. They're larger than regular flips, which tends to make them heavier, but also tends to make them noisier. Good earplugs will help, and weight isn't an issue for every rider. You could also alleviate that by going for a pricier version of some of these helmets with the fiber-based shells. If you like the idea of having a proper open face helmet for a lot of your riding time, these helmets are worth the penalties. Of the lids here, the Scorpion Exotech Evo is a decent and popular lid for 250 pounds and the LS2 Advant gives it a good run for the same money. The Scorpion's fit tightens up more than the LS2 when you close it, but I think that helps make the Scorpion a little bit sleeker. The Nolan N121 has a plastic shell like the other two, but it's a decent amount lighter, though it does cost 50 quid more. The fiber shelled LS2 Advant X is more snug in fit than the base Advant, and it's also lighter. The Roof Boxer 2 Carbon stands out in this crowd. I think it will mostly be of interest to those who like its appearance or riders who prioritize simplicity and low weight. If that's you, then I think you'll love a Boxer 2 as long as it fits you properly. Okay, I hope this has helped you work out which of these helmets might be right for you, if any of them are right for you at all. But if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.